Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to set up a Spigot server on your Mac. This will be a development server that you can use or maybe you can play it with friends. That depends. But anyways, the first thing that you want to do is to get the jar download. So you're going to visit getbucket.org slash download slash Spigot. And then you're going to choose your version. I'm going to go with 1.19. I'm going to press download and it will start to download the jar file. I can then open the jar file in finder. And I will here be able to, uh, to see it. So then you're going to create a new folder. It can be wherever you want. It can be on your desktop or yeah, wherever. You're going to drag the jar file into that folder. You're going to rename it to server.jar. Now here comes the tricky part. What you're gonna do is that you want to uh, you want to create a new file here. So we're gonna actually hold Option. Um, hmm, let's see. We're gonna hold Option key while pressing the server, and then we're gonna copy server.jar as path name. We're gonna press that. Then we're gonna open up the terminal by searching for terminal. I already have mine open. Then we're gonna execute the command ed and then paste in whatever we had copied and then we should remove the server. So now we are in this map. What you're then gonna do is you're gonna do nano run dot sh. This will create a new file. In this file, you do want to copy something. So what you want to copy is, let me just get my cheat sheet here. So what you want to copy is this command. I will be pasting this in the description below. So you're going to copy this command and then uh, just as it were in the description, server.jar. Then you're going to hit control X, control X and Y and then enter. So now you have a run.sh file. What you're then gonna do is make this file executable by running chmod plus x and then dot slash run.sh while still being in that map. So now you can actually start your server. You can start your server by doing dot slash run.sh. And you see, we got an error. This error uh, is because I copied it wrongly. You should not have a, like an end. You should not have uh, a new line. It should everything should be on the same line. But if you just copy it, it will be fine. So I'm gonna save this again by hitting Control X and Y. Then I'm gonna run it. So now it will actually start our server in the console. But we will have to accept the EULA first. So we're gonna go into the server. We are going to hit, uh, we're going to press the EULA text. We're going to open that in text edit. We can just use the default. We're going to hit say EULA true. Now, when we run the command again, uh, our server should be up and running. So if we just wait a bit. Is it done already? Don't think it is, right? No. We're waiting a bit more. So it will says preparing to spawn. And when it when this is at 100%, then we are ready to join our Minecraft server. So we're waiting. Meanwhile, we can actually start up Minecraft to see it. So we're gonna just load in Minecraft, make sure it's the same version as your server. And it should say done here. And now this server is up and running uh, and you are able to join it and other people on your network are able to join it. But if you want to play with friends over an online connection, you're going to have to port forward it, which will be a topic for another video. So while we wait, it, my computer always lags a bit now. Yeah, let's see. We're going to connect to localhost. Hit connect. 
And yeah, I have the wrong version. But it's fine. We are not gonna bother joining it. Uh, but you can join it if you have the correct version. Just make sure to have the correct Minecraft version and match it with the jar file. So yeah, you can now stop the server by typing in stop in the console. Or you can stop the server by just exiting and out and pressing terminate. So yeah, that's it. Now you have your own Minecraft server and you can begin to experiment with it. This will be a speakout server, so you are also able to download plugins, which is jar executables. And those plugins will be placed inside the plugins folder of your server. So yeah, if you have any questions, just feel free to ask them in the comment section and I will be sure to answer them. That was all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.